Hey all you space cadets, are you ready for some out of this world arts and crafts? Today, we're in a new location. We're actually at my apartment. There's my lovely chicken in my kitchen. <laughs> um, today, we're gonna be doing drum roll, please. Can you hear it for a drum roll? Galaxy Play-Doh, super fun craft. I'm at home because I need some of the supplies from my kitchen to make it. So, if you're really interested in this craft, keep on watching. Okay, Space Rangers, so to make our fabulous Galaxy Play-Doh, you're gonna need one cup of flour, one cup of warm water, one cup of salt, or half cup of salt, excuse me, um, one teaspoon of cream of tartar, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and assorted um, food coloring, and I pre-made some black food coloring. So we're gonna have to work kind of quickly. Oh, and you also need some glitter, my bad. Um, so I'm gonna dry, put all my dry ingredients in the bowl. salt in there there we go we're gonna get our warm water up in there there we go boom now I'm gonna start mixing with my spoon So you're gonna mix until it is a Play-Doh cons consistency. Go ahead in there and get your hands in there. It's gonna be pretty warm at first, it's gonna kinda smell salty. That's totally normal. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more flour just cause it's a, I've been working it, but it's not exactly the consistency I want. So I'm gonna be right back, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So I grabbed a third of a cup about flour. I'm just gonna put a tad bit in there. I'm getting it going. Now it's pretty flowery. That's okay, we're just gonna work it through. There we go. All right, so once you have your Play-Doh at a consistency that you're pretty happy with, I like mine pretty like firm and malleable, I guess you could say. Not to the point where it's sticky, but it's just kind of like, I don't know, Play-Doh. Classic Play-Doh. You're going to take it and split it into three because we're going to color them different colors and hopefully marble them together with the help of our glitter. So go ahead, take your big chunk of Play-Doh, Play-Doh, <laughs> Play Play and split it up into three. And then these that look a little bigger, so I'm just going to add some to it. Nice. Okay, once you have your three balls, you're going to take your food coloring and you're going to color one of the balls one of the colors. So I have this black that I pre-made and I'm going to put it on one of these. 
looks more like a dark blue, but that's okay. And I'm going to try to mix it the best I can. With my spoon, I decided. <laughs> So to me, it looks like I don't have enough black, so I'm going to go ahead and make some more. And then I will be right back with a darker ball of black for you. Alright, I'm back. I have the black. <laughs> it didn't work as well as I was hoping to. But, you know, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. It's kind of like a gray-green color... Lighting's not the best in here. I apologize for that. But I think it's kind of fun. I think we can work with it. So we're going to move on. We're going to go to the next colors. I'm thinking we go with a, maybe like a light red or like a purple. That could look nice. So I'm going to take the next ball of clay, put it in my dish, and I'm going to put some red on it. Maybe that was a lot of red. Oops. Eh. Why not make it purple? Let's try. Let's experiment. This is what this class is. Class, my bad. This is what this project's all about. Experimenting, trying new things. So yeah, this part is kind of up to you. Like, you get to decide what color you want everything to be, how dark, how light, what materials you have here. If you don't have a food coloring, you can use a paint. It does get a little bit more messy than you're used to, but it does work. Yeah, so I'm just going to pause this video and continue mixing, and I'll show you the final product after I get a good solid color here. It's like we're on our way, but yeah, go ahead, mix until you... You're done, and you're mixed to your heart's content, and we'll come back and mix the final color. Okay, so this red-purple mix definitely turned out more mauve than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so we might come back to that. So sorry about the lighting. Yeah, it looks very brown through this screen. It's more of like a light pink-purple color. Um... Hopefully we can come back and save that, but I think I'm going to take a break from it and hope that the blues bless us. <laughs> so, hopefully we'll get a nice sweet baby blue with this next one. So same thing, we're mixing. Go ahead and pause the video and mix until you get a color that you appreciate. <laughs> All right, this is just what I wanted, a nice, light, spacey blue. So what we're going to do is try to combine the three together. However, I'm going to take a little bit off of this and just use a chunk of it because I don't want to ruin the beautiful colors we have going on here. So we got our black, we got our pink mauve. That looks brown on the camera, and I'm so sorry about it. <sighs> Frustrating. Anyway, and we got our blue. So we're going to take them, and we're going to add... And just kind of mush them together. Marble them. Kind of looks like a slushy. There we go. You know, like those red and blue slushies you can get at the... Never mind, I'll stop talking. Anyway, I'm going to remove this bowl. Oops. We got an issue in the kitchen. All right. We're going to knead them together. That looks pretty cool. And last but definitely not least, we're going to add something super cool here. We're going to add some glitter. So I got my little shaker glitter here. You can use like little confetti stars if you have that. You could use blue glitter, green glitter, pink glitter. I'm just going to use silver because I like how it looks. I'm just going to put it in there and knead it all together. Wow. 
we got a couple of colors going on here. I think I'm going to add, I know, I know, call me crazy. I'm going to add a little bit of this in there and knead it to this pile. Just kind of going in there with my fingers and rolling up and pulling it. And then I'll be flattening it out again. Ooh, that looks nice. Kind of like a marbling technique, I guess. That looks fun. I'm gonna do the same with this guy. I might split it in half actually because there's kind of a lot. Smush it down. see some of those fun colors just kind of braiding in there. Nice. Again, I'm going to add more of this because I can and I think it looks nice. So I'm going to do it. Faint lines of blue. Cool. So yeah, this is basically it. If you want to cut out shapes, let's say you want to like, I need one of my painter's tools here. And maybe you want to like cut out a star. is not looking very good at the moment or if you have cookie cutters you can do this 10 times easier and you want to let it dry and then you have like a dried star and you can punch a hole in it and you can use it as an ornament or like a little gift for somebody whatever your heart's desire let's move this out Nope, just pinching with my fingers. There we go. Kind of a weird star shape, but no stars look exactly the same, I think. Or maybe that's no flicks. Either way, you can go ahead and cut out shapes. You can keep playing with it. You can just keep it in a ball. Whatever you choose, I'm sure it's gonna look great. All right, that's all for now, folks. See you in the next craft. Bye-bye.